Hey everybody, welcome back to Crazy Dave's Crew. I'm Laura, and you're watching Thursday Threads. Today I want to do something a little different. I was playing around with my strips, working on some uh, quilt block swaps for quilting swaps and challenges for beginners on Facebook. Excellent group. I love it. And uh, I just had this wild and crazy thought. I was wondering, wonder what it would look like if instead of a square which I'll do the squares for the swap because those are the instructions but I wonder what it would be if I used rectangles so probably not going to walk you through the whole step you can refer back to a video I did earlier um, on how to do your string blocks so stick around let's see what they look like <laughs> my handy dandy Fiskars rotary cutter ruler combo I cut eight and three quarters by eleven and a half rectangle so for my block swaps I've been doing six inch squares of muslin and then I've got my strips so now I'm, I'm going to do a couple rectangles, and that's just for me to play with. I want to see what it's going to look like and see if I can somehow match everything up. And if my math is correct, no guarantees, but I've got eight and three quarters by eleven and a half. So let's pull out some strips and let's see what we've got and see what we can make and see how it looks like. All right. Like I said, as far as step by step there is another video that you can watch so i'm just going to show you how i'm going to start corner to corner pin this sew it down and i'll see you in a few minutes all right so first strip is down we're good i just want to point out i am using one and a half inch strips um the swap that i'm working on from my squares calls for one and a half inch strips so uh, that's just a preference and that's just for me that way I'm not having to cut more more strips before I go any further I just want to also point out I am using a quarter inch piecing foot so very important for me uh, if you're new to piecing I would highly recommend this um, they're not expensive at all and uh, I use mine all the time <laughs> well 92 and a half percent of the time anyway just a guesstimate all right so let's get some more pieces down and see what this looks like when we get done it up and I'm going to want this to be eight and a quarter this way and 11 inches this way so I've got my big ruler here and I am I think to start with I'm going to go eight and a half all right so let's see what we can do way and I want eight and a quarter eight and a quarter by eleven there's the eleven so there's my eight Do the eight line first, I think. And that looks 
like that's on the 11. All right. Let's see how this looks next to my other ones. Which are not squared. So let's square one. Right, so I'm just going to square one of these up. Just so I can kind of see how it looks next to it. And these are going to be five and a half inches. I'm going to try to get my diagonal on my seam there. should be interesting, huh? Okay, so I think that is the perfect spacing now for me to put in a little bit of sashing there. And after the, with the seam allowance, it should match up perfect. Yeah? So what do y'all think? Be a little bit different from just your regular squares, but you could have a rectangle. I have so much fun doing these string blocks, and uh, can't wait to see what else I can do with them. Be sure to check out the Quilting Swaps and Challenges for Beginners on Facebook. Also, uh, Quilting and Crocheting for Beginners, that's uh, Crazy Dave's sewing group and check out crazy dave's crew and don't forget to come back see what else we get up to next week i hope you've enjoyed i hope you've learned something and just know i learn probably more than you do have a great day happy sewing and we'll see you next time right here on thursday threads